Hi, this is your host, Open Bhartia, and welcome to another episode of TFR Let's Talk. And today we have with us Vishal Jain, co-founder and CEO of Beltex. Vishal, it's great to have you on the show. Great to be here, Swapnil. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. And I look forward to our conversation. Me too. Uh, first of all, thanks for joining me. Uh, since you're also the co-founder of the company, tell us a bit about uh, what was the kind of original story of the comp uh, company, why uh, you felt that there's a need for this company and what kind of problem you're trying to solve. Okay, yeah, absolutely. So um, um, my background has been in the cloud networking and the security space. And uh, before starting Voltex, I was at another startup uh, doing uh, security. And uh, a lot of the customers uh, I was talking to, they were in their cloud journey. They were early, but a lot of them were looking for uh, solutions to secure their workloads in the cloud. A lot of them were using the old technologies uh, with a lift and shift mindset. And I saw that uh, the lift and shift uh, rarely has worked in the cloud. You have to be cloud born, cloud native. Cloud is not same as your data center. And I saw the opportunity. Uh, three of, of the co-founders got together. Uh, we have known each other for 20 years, uh, done startups together in the past. Uh, and what we focus on is securing the cloud workloads, um, mainly the fact that everything in the cloud is connected. So how do you secure the cloud networks in the public cloud? Last year, uh, security was a big theme. There are a lot of uh, you know instances actually they keep happening. It's just sometimes uh, they do get the coverage on a home uh, home page or a front page of a newspaper. Uh, but uh, security remains uh, a challenge uh, because uh, compared to the traditional IT world in the cloud native world, especially multi cloud environment, uh, security cannot be someone else's problem. It cannot be an afterthought. So talk a bit about how you folks have seen the whole security landscape has changed. And also cloud, multi-cloud, what new challenges it has brought, not only for the companies who are running their workload, but also companies like yours who are trying to secure some of those workloads. Yeah, no, I think uh, definitely, um, uh, as you said, uh, cyber is a big thing. I mean, as I talk about um, the, the next big <laughs> war is not going to be uh, physical, it's going to be all cyber. So the actors are from like different states. Um, you must have heard about ransomware. So cyber is everywhere. Now, uh, one thing we are noticing is that a lot of the enterprises uh, are moving to the cloud. I mean, they are. They want their agility. Uh, they they want um, lower cost. They want um, more profits. You know. Uh, at the same time, they also want to make sure that the security posture in the cloud is um, much much better actually than it used to be in the data center. Now, what we see the change is um, the cloud is not same as a data center. The things have changed. The applications used to be monolithic. They have now become like microservices. Um, the architectures used to be like just a VM based. Now you must have heard the enterprises use containers, VM, serverless, platform as service. Now, one thing is in the cloud, the connectivity is ubiquitous. Um, the workloads talk to the internet, from the internet, talk to each other, they are multi-cloud. In this dynamic environment where there is less change control, how do you want to make sure that you want to be secure? At the same time, you want to be agile. There's no point going to the cloud and be slow like data center, have a change control. So if you want to have this uh, agility and security both together, that creates some challenges for enterprises and an opportunity for them to leap past their competition as well. If they do it right. From the cultural aspect, uh, teams, structure of teams within companies, we talk about DevOps, DevSecOps, SREs. We can use whichever label uh, we want, but the whole idea is that, once again, in old days, developers run uh, create an application, they don't even know where it's running because software was bought, it was downloaded and installed. Now it's running on your own infrastructure, so you are actually responsible for the whole life cycle of that. Uh, that's why we do talk about DevOps, all those things. So, so talk about cultural changes that are also happening to ensure that, you know, the, the responsibility doesn't end just by writing the code. You have to run the code, maintain the code, manage the code. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, and that's a big change in the cloud. Uh, developers uh, run the show. I mean, it's all about developments, de developers, so that uh, the business can go agile. Now, at the same time, they need to, uh, and they owe, have some responsibility towards security. I mean, you must have heard about shift left. Uh, now, uh, you can say that developers do care about security. It's hard to say that, yeah, they don't care about security, but uh, you also want to make sure that you enable them and give them enough tooling on the security side to make sure that they're doing the right things. So it's a combination of 
shift left where you build your security as part of the development process. At the same time, uh, like log 4 shell last year was a big uh, wake up call for the enterprises to say, okay, yes, there can be vulnerabilities uh, outside the application, right? In the application, no app is ever invulnerable. So you need to secure and build their defenses. So a combination of building security inside the applications and then putting security controls outside, getting the visibility of what's going on, putting the right controls is what uh, is a change. Uh, another culture change um, I think we are seeing is uh, as the enterprises are going to the cloud, a new position like cloud security architects, cloud architects, that's coming up too. Because uh, as I said, um, the cloud is different than data center. So and the companies and the enterprises want to have a better architecture for securing their clouds. And since you're talking about uh, some current trend, one of the kind of worrying trend, not trend exactly, is that a lot of companies are also starting to look at cost cutting or uh, becoming more cost efficient. A lot of layoffs are happening. There's a magic number, 7%. I don't know what is the reason, but which also means the teams are uh, smaller. Do you see any impact that will have on security because of that? Or if if, if you do, what do you think how companies sh should approach it so that, as you said, they remain innovative, they can move faster, but you know they should also uh, keep their workload secure? Yeah, no, I think uh, that's a great point. I think uh, one thing is that the cloud is a lot about automation. You know, uh, that's like the um, uh, first thing in the cloud. So if the enterprises used to be using humans to do a lot of their stuff, then um, they will be challenged in this new environment because uh, you can't have um, a lot of people to do it. So the layoffs and all are impacting the organizations which used to rely a lot on manual um, work, um, no automation, but it also now gives them an opportunity to actually uh, go and look towards technologies which are cloud native, which are born in the cloud, which helps them automate a lot of, this, uh, lot of their security. For example, you want to make sure you get the right visibility, uh, you know what's going on, and then you want to secure at the same time. You want to consolidate uh, a lot of these functions together because if you have silos, it leads to more people, it leads to uh, more security gaps. So what we are seeing, at least um, uh, when we talk to our customers in the cloud, for example, in data center where networking used to be static, you have network teams and security teams. In the cloud, they go together. You can't be having uh, networking and change control, have people, and then do security on top. You need to combine cloud, network, security all together. And that's what we call like um, the enterprises are demanding what we call secure cloud networking. Security without networking is not useful. And uh, it's an opportunity in my opinion, like uh, every downturn, uh, as we have seen, a lot of the innovation happens in downturn because uh, the enterprises want to be more efficient. Talk a bit about now the company. Uh, what kind of solutions you're offering? Because we are also looking at a lot of companies, of course, there are big tech bohemoths who have all the tech skills, but there are a lot of com companies who are not tech companies per se, but they do have to move to the cloud. They have to embrace all these technologies. So they also look at things like low code or no code. So we do have to lower the barrier of entry for them so they can once again move fast, innovate, and remain secure. So talk a bit about your solutions, how you're helping the whole spectrum of the, your customer base. Okay, no, that's a great point. And what we are seeing is, as you talked about, uh, the, 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 the uh, companies are becoming smaller uh, in this environment. But in, the, in general, as the enterprises are going multi-cloud, and some of them can be single cloud as well, there's always um, the lack of the technology and talent uh, in the cloud, you know, a lot of the enterprises have uh, limited uh, um, technologies. Um, uh, I mean, um, I would say the talent in place. So the one thing where we are helping is we are helping to um, help them automate all of that stuff. So if they take all the old technologies and put them in from the data center to the cloud, they need a lot of talent to do manual labor. For example, they have to manually plumb the networking, manually get all the visibility, get multiple silos. We are putting them together. As I said, we do secure cloud networking. We first um, do networking, and that's the base. Then we have security. I mean, you. You cannot have workloads in the cloud being insecure. And on top of that, you do cloud. And cloud is all about, as I said, like uh, single policy across cloud, uh, single policy across your uh, workloads, things like those. So uh, in general, 
even large organizations or small organizations. The way we are helping is help them uh, with this. So they can go be agile um, with um, small teams and at the same time, make sure that their workloads are fully secure. And what we do is security um, from the point of view of the internet to the workloads, workload to workload and workload to the internet. So that's where we focus on in the networking jargon that's called securing the ingress, east, west, and the egress for your cloud workloads. You folks also released a survey last month. Can you tell us a bit more about the survey? What was the goal of the survey and what were some key findings? We do the survey every year. Uh, like last last year, uh, the biggest thing which came out in survey was the log 4 shell. Uh, definitely was on top of mind of everybody. So this year, the goal was just to see uh, where the organizations are in their cloud journey. And what we saw was that, uh, yeah, they are uh, getting more and more advanced in the cloud journey. Last last year, we saw a lot more enterprises are now multi-cloud. Uh, I believe uh, the number was around like 95% were saying they are multi-cloud or they will be multi-cloud. Um, we saw another uh, thing in survey that uh, large organizations are now hiring what we call, have a position like cloud security architects cloud center of excellence. So they're looking at uh, the cloud much more uh, seriously and 86% of organizations are currently employing an in-house cloud security architect. So pretty much that's what um, we, we did a survey for, just for understanding where the customers are. One thing we are seeing uh, in our customer base, uh, the prospects we talk to in our customers, a uh, few, like a couple of years back, a lot of the customers were more in a lift and shift uh, mentality. So what they call is a cloud 1.0. Take the data center, replicate everything in the cloud. That does not help. That does not make them agile. That makes the cost higher, makes them even less secure. Uh, now they're going to more a cloud 2.0 architecture, which are more like more distributed uh, in technology terms. They have a lot more accounts, a lot more VPCs, um, things like those. So uh, things are much more dynamic. So they're looking for things towards uh, making their life simple. They're looking for consolidation. They're looking to have a single tool in their workflow um, and then things like that. Uh, in last couple of years, there was a lot of focus on what we call as posture, cloud posture. There was even a whole industry called cloud security posture management. Now, this is, again, it's great, great to have the right visibility. But what we're hearing from customers is that it is getting a bit commoditized. Every customer has what they call a tool for doing the visibility. 67% of respondents actually now see that the CSPM offered by the cloud provider is sufficient. Um, however, um, and only 53% of them are looking to make a new CSP investment. I think what is coming out is, especially after the lock for shell uh, LSL or the wake-up call, you need security outside your application. You can assume, okay, I find all the vulnerabilities and I can patch them immediately. You will have network paths in the environment. You need to secure uh, your, your workloads. So the shift in the focus from Posture to prevention is what we are seeing a lot. A lot of the folks are saying that um, they're agreeing with the fact that the cloud is much more dynamic. And in fact, 94% of respondents believe that secure cloud networking is important to their overall cloud strategy. And that's actually good for what we do at Voltex. We saw that uh, a while back as well. Uh, we spotted that. And we are probably the only startup who do uh, cloud networking and security all together. There are companies who offer security built from the on-prem side. They offer like appliances. Uh, they're unaware of cloud. They're unaware, unaware of cloud networking. Then you have the other guys who do just cloud networking, but don't do security. Um, but we realize that all these have to come together. And then the third spectrum is you can take the basic Lego blocks from the AWS or your GCP. By definition, they will never be multi-cloud <laughs> solutions. Plus, at the same time, what they give is the uh, Lego blocks, and it's a lot has to be done by the organization to put them together. So what we said is like enterprises have uh, limited tech and talent. They want a unified solution. Uh, they want something automated. They want something which gives you a single workflow for visibility and prevention altogether. And so that's pretty much uh, is in line with what um, we have been working with our customers came out in survey. So yeah, I mean, and yeah, I mean, cloud is definitely evolving and we'll see more and more interesting uh, things come up next year. 
Vishal, thank you so much for taking time out today and uh, not only talk about the survey, talk about the company and also the whole landscape, how it's changing and evolving. Thanks for all those insights. And I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, uh, Sopnil, for giving an opportunity. It was a great discussion, especially in today's context. Um, so great to have you uh, talk to me.